Uh, <laughs> my bullet catches was falling down, so it's now one big mess <laughs> of DBs on the ground. <laughs> uh, I wanted to talk about this fake suppressor that you can put at the front of the, let's say, the airsoft platform. Uh, this will be just uh, to hide your inner bell that's longer than uh, the shroud, so it looks a bit nice and it's kind of protected from, let's say, impact and things like that. It will not fit on every type of shroud, but I will t take a look di digitally which type will fit. I can say pretty much for sure it will be the smaller shrouds, like let's say the standard one and a few small ones I have made for the standard bell, the FGC, uh, FGC9. How you install this one is pretty simple. You do your normal installation with uh, the bell or the bell retainer or the shroud, I used to call it the shroud. Just install the two screws first at the bottom for ease of conversation. Let's look at this uh, mark on bell retainer. You got two screw holes at the bottom at the top. To install the, the barrel, you will install it first and put on the barrel retainer. Then install the two screws at the bottom first. This will hold this down. What will holding down, let's say, the silencer adapter thing, barrel, fake barrel thing, suppressor thing, is by the top screws. To hide this inner barrel that's sticking out, you then slide on this pressure with the outer barrel over the inner barrel and just slide it in. In my case it's a tight fit but I kind of like it that way because I am not planning to remove this at all afterwards but if you don't like that you can use a knife and remove the elephant foot a little bit more and sand it a little bit. But then it will fit and just slide it down and then what you basically will do, you will now slide it over the barrel and now you can bolt down those two at the top. And it got this part at the bottom, I, I uh, did this so it kind of has some support because it's kind of getting quite long. The ley lines are not in your favor, so if it hits something, but with the bell in the, in the center, it kind of gets some support from that. But at the same time, you don't want this to hang on your bell, so that's why I made this. So you may not like the look of that, but... I kind of decide on that to kind of give it more strength. So it's got, because it only hang on the top two lungs. But that's basically what you will be doing. And technically you can install it on this one as well. This only thing is, it will be really visible what you are doing and things like that. But that's technically what you will be doing by uh, installing it. So yeah, this was all used on the FGC6, the normal one when it's released, because this part will be the same, the front part. Of course also with the Springer, when you use the, the v, uh, VTEC barrel adapter thing, that's it's made for, to fit, and of course with the automatic one. Um, with that said, I will try to make this semi-automatic, but it's kind of tricky but I, I will give it a try uh, to, to uh, design it but uh, that's not really my strong suit let's put it that way so it's kind of tricky but uh, so I don't make don't make any promises but I do make the promise I will give it a try to uh, figure it out because it's shooting kind of too fast with gas because I noticed that the velocity was going all over the place when it's full automatic. It was so fast, the gas cannot really keep up. Um, and also, it makes MTU Max really fast. And it's in the beginning kind of fun, but at the same time, it's not really that playable because you got only like 25 rounds, um, 28. 50 of you are when you are lucky with the long magazines, but still, it's not much. So, uh, 
yeah, so I will try to make this on semi, but at the same time I'm already working on, let's say, the original FGC6 that will be semi-automatic with all the features, so is it really worth my time spending more time on this edition, you know? But at the same time, uh, as a side project, with all the other things I'm doing, I will uh, do uh, work on it a little bit. So yeah, see you guys uh, next time. And uh, oh, and by, besides, I've made some uh, updates for the people who have not seen it yet. I've made some updates on the manual. Um, it's uh, the updates involved that I kind of explored more, like let's say um, upgrade parts you can use, like the longer barrels. Um, also about the nozzles a little bit. And not uh, something, and also important, of course, what the FPS is doing with the spring settings that I showed before. So, a kind of gives you an ID. Uh, but again, I noticed later when I was making manual, and I should have kind of checked it in the beginning, but that chronograph is kind of new to me. It was kind of what were all the, the numbers when it was shooting. In that burst and I did only look at the average number that it was giving and not about the list I needed to look that up in the menu I should have done that in the beginning um, but I, I really noticed like it's it's shooting in the beginning quite high so let's say 280 290 something like that and then after the third and fourth shot it will drop down drastically and that would drag down my average quite low. So at some points I was kind of disappointed, like hey, what's going on, it's quite low. I uh, did not expect that. Um, but m it may well be that I did too long burst at that time to get a nice average about the rounds per second. But it's just the gas cannot keep up with uh, the cycle speed. I expect at least that that is the case, so that's kind of also why I kind of curious when it's semi-automatic what it will do. Of course you could say, okay, just load one round in it. Yeah, I can do that, but... So, this is made to be full automatic, so I wanted to have the realistic um, FPS settings for it, you know that you know, okay, this is not going to keep up when, it's, when you do a long burst. It's meant to be really short burst, otherwise it doesn't keep up with, uh, with the gas flow inside. Of course, you can go with compressed air, but then you have a hose on the magazine. Uh, yeah, that's just kind of lame, let's be honest. But at the same time, compressed air can keep up. A lot better with higher fire rate so if you do uh, that and be gentle of course with how uh, much PSI you will put through the system don't go overboard with it but that would be a lot better but yeah then, then you make Mac reloads with a hose on it I, I have totally no that this sounds so strange to me but it's fun that it can be done of course but it's so odd you know the, the idea of it uh, but yeah I guess you have to speed load that one magazine all the time, otherwise it's really awkward to take the air hose off, then make a mag reload, make sure reload's really long till it's only a small capacity magazine. So it's, it's, it's a strange one, but uh... but yeah, this is uh, also a demonstration a little bit of an, uh, <coughs> of the light bar, or uh, let's say the light mount, I call it the light mount. You can see that I put uh, the iron sights, the backup sights, they are on the side. And I put this one in front of the light, so um, you got a little bit bigger side ranges, otherwise it's really small, especially now with this mounted here, it needed to be here, but it's already a red dot side right here, so it would be here or something, <laughs> it gets too tiny. Uh, so I put it in front of this, and this is a special mount, I will release it 
Uh, it will only work for, let's say, the Surefire Scout Light, I believe it's called. This is not a real one, but this one, uh, it, th this part doesn't really have a Picatinny wheel, but only a small hole in it for the pin. This is to make this as stiff as possible. You don't want this to, of course, move around a lot, otherwise your backup side has no use, then it will wobble all, all over the place. So that's kind of the concept behind it for when you have a uh, small compressor, uh, suppressor, compressor, <laughs> build up the pressure. <laughs> no, but if you have a small suppressor right here, you do want to have the light so the light doesn't uh, cast on the suppressor. They can still mount uh, some sides on it if you want some backup sides. Um, this is only made for this model, so it's only working for the, let's say, the short shroud, the, st the standard uh, shroud of the MK2 and the shorter ones that I've made. It may fit other, uh, also on other ones, but then uh, you need to use also the short uh, suppression and kind of have the same distance to make it work, but... Yeah, you can try it. I will not list it all because it's so much work and I got so much to do. Um, but yeah, hope that was helpful for you guys and I'll see you guys next time.